Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan. I'm back to show you some of the other things that we can look at when we're looking at flow sim. So we left off last time looking at uh, flow trajectories and particle studies. So I'm, if you don't want to see these, you can always right click on the injection, hit hide. That way it gets it out of the way. Uh, same with flow trajectories. You can right click and either show or hide. But we'll keep those there because we might want to look at them again in the future. So the next couple things you might want to look at are cut plot and surface plots. And it's a way to visualize uh, certain parameters on a surface or on a plane. And so cut plots looks at a plane. So if we do it, right click and insert, you, you basically have to choose whatever plane you want to look at things. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose this, this front plane because it kind of bisects our pipe or artery right in the middle. Um, you can offset it by using this offset term. I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Display, you can display it different ways. Again, that's something you should explore. Uh, for now, we'll just use contours. Um, if we want to see what, how the contours are colored, uh, we'll do by velocity. And this is number of uh, color levels. So 10 is pretty good. Maybe I'll increase it to 20 just to get some more color levels. I don't really use a 3D profile because I think it messes up the color and uh, your ability to just look and analyze it well. So that's all we need to do. We hit check. And so right there, you can see there is uh, the velocity profile on that plane. You can see it's, it's definitely a 2D representation on that plane. And so it's a good way to look at the velocity. Now, while I have this up, one thing I want to show you is normally these things auto scale. So it's going from zero velocity is that darkest blue all the way up to 0 0.011 meters per second is the red. And so that's fine if it auto scales and gives you full dynamic range. But sometimes when you're comparing like one thing to another, you want to use the same exact scales so that like red, we want to make sure red represents the same thing, the same velocity in two different models. And so if you have diff two different models at two different auto scales, that doesn't work. Um, so you need to f manually scale it yourself. And so we can manually scale. You can just type in like what the, what the parameter should be. So like if I want to go from 0 to 0 0.15. You can see that it has made even even 20 levels between 0 and 0 0.15, but it's all going to be blue because we know all these velocities fell in this lower range. So 0 0.15 wasn't a good idea. So maybe I want to do 0 0.012. And now we get back to where we can see some differences in the flow. So that's something you should probably do when you're comparing one uh, model to another. So again, I can hide these if I don't need to see it anymore. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to do a surface plot. And so it's very similar to cut plot, where we're going to show uh, the results on a surface. And so I'm going to right click and insert. So the first thing you have to do is define the surfaces that you want to see the results on. And so we have to make sure we select the inside surface of these. So I'm going to right click, select other, that inside face. You can see it only selected this segment. So if I want to see it all, I have to keep selecting all these segments. Select other, the inside face, right click, select other, inside face. Okay, and I purposely left out two things. This inside face of these things just to show you if you don't select something you'll you'll definitely notice it later now velocity wouldn't be so interesting on the inside faces right so maybe this is where i show the pressure okay again i'll use 20. okay so we can see the pressure decreases throughout our flow sim as we expect it to do now as i said i purposely left out so you can see i i didn't select that fillet and it's not drawing uh the color on that fillet so sometimes if you have a lot of little fillets and parts, it gets a pain to select all those faces. So instead, I'm just going to go edit definition. I think we can just click on this use all faces. Again, I'll just set everything else the same and hit check. Okay, and that used all the inside faces without me having to select each individual one. Now sometimes you might want to do each individual one. That's why I showed you. Um, but this time you can see it clearly does the fillets too. Okay, and so this is what we expect. We expect pressure to decrease as it goes from the start of the flow to the end of the flow. So I'll go ahead and hide this. The other type of surface plot is called isosurfaces. I think this is much less useful for you guys, but I'll show you what you would do. You would insert, 
and it basically will show you all the places where a value equals something. So let's just choose pressure. Um, you usually choose one by one on this. And then, okay, we want to see everywhere that the pressure equals 101.325.429. Okay, and we'll just hit okay. And so you can see it just colors, it makes this surface of all those pressures. Again, I don't know that that is entirely useful unless you're looking for something very specific. Um, but if you are looking for a specific number, that's how you can do it. So I'll go ahead and hide that as well. So those three are other ways that you can visualize the flow and kind of see what's going on using colors. Now we really want to get into like, okay, how can we actually see some numbers here? And that's what goes on more down here with the surface parameters, volume parameters, and XY plots. So let's look at surface parameters. We'll insert a surface parameter. And so again, I'll just go ahead and check use all faces. Now maybe we would want to see a summary of some of these parameters on the surface. So let's look at the pressure. The other thing that's useful on a surface is probably shear stress, right? So I'll click on shear stress and I can just hit show. And so it tells me on the surface, the minimum pressure is that, the max is that, the average is that. We can also see the same with shear stress. So if you want to know the maximum shear stress in this entire thing, we can say that that is 0.12 pascals. So that might be a useful number to compare um, to each other. You can also export these results to Excel if you want to plot them or use them in some other way. So that's pretty useful. You can do something very similar volume parameters. You might insert. Again, you just want to summarize the different different things going on in the volume flow. Okay, let's go ahead and hit show. Oh, it says select a component. So it needs, right, we'll just use all components here. Okay, so apparently it can't do the shear stress, but it did give us the maximum pressure. It and min pressure, it gives us the max and min velocity. Okay, and so it, it it's one way you can actually get the numbers out of the sim. Another way to get numbers out of the sims use this XY plot. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just end this video here, and then we'll make a next video to show you how to do some XY plots, because you're going to have to add some extra geometry and references in this, in this drawing in order to be able to use XY plots.